we are going to study a new lesson. Let's see what it is. First, we'll play a game. We have to guess which is this mythical creature. Now, what is a mythical creature? A unicorn. Identify the next one. Now, mythical creatures. Mythical word is made from myth. Now, what is myth? Something that is heard of, but there is no proof. You keep on identifying. Okay. Now, this mythical creature is named Yeti. And this one, yes, you guessed it right, Pegasus. This one, Griffin. And this one is, you all know that, yes, Dragon. Now this brings us to the lesson. Today we are going to study the dragon rock. There was a rock which looked exactly like dragon and people believed it was a dragon. And at the end we discovered it indeed was a dragon. Now when it comes to dragon, there are two types of dragon that are explained in uh, various cultures. In western, you will find the dragon has wings and it creates fire. And the eastern culture, especially in China, you will uh, see that the dragons have a serpent like structure tail like a serpent and they are very intelligent they have infinite wisdom and their wingless western counterparts has wings now in this lesson the main characters is a dragon which is lying there as a rock and the children village children these two are the main characters no names are specified just children word is mentioned Now, when the story starts, we see the story is placed in the quiet valley of Hazel. People have worked very hard there. They keep their houses spick and span and their children's faces are always clean. They means that maintain themselves well. Now, as the story grows, we, ident we find that there is a rock there looks exactly like a dragon and everybody kind of knows it's a dragon even the animals and the birds of the village know that it is a dragon but nobody is scared of it because it never moves children in that village always play in the meadow the summer that year was very hot and dry and it was making the farm dog sleepy and still when it is too hot, animals, they conserve energy. They move less. So, they will always be sleepy. You will find them in a sleepy state. So, it was the case in that village too. The children's most favorite spot for playing was a large long rock. I always told you, I just told you that the rock looked exactly like a dragon look like a sleeping dragon and everybody knew the grown-ups the children the cats and the birds everybody dogs all animals but nobody was scared because it never moved and it was just lying there like a big rock that was shaped like a dragon so the boys and girls will climb all over of it hanging wet boots on its ear but the dragon never mind he never sub seems to mind any of the things that the people were doing with it okay sometimes people even used to cut firewood on its zigzag tail but the dragon never woke up with any of those activity it used to just sit lie there and sleep peacefully Now, often on a cool night, <coughs> the elders will tell the children stories about how the dragon got there. But nobody knew for sure. That's the beauty of the mythical stories. You will always hear them, but there is no proof of their existence. Mythical stories also originate 
from the word myth and i have told you the meaning of myth so it's a belief myth is a belief that something exists but there is no proof to it it's just a belief so everybody knew for sure that it was a dragon and there were many stories on how it came there but nobody knew for sure okay but they were sure of one thing and what was that in times of trouble the dragon will wake and free the village by making a lake now that village was completely dependent on rain water for their water needs so that summer when it was not raining they were troubled but there was a saying in the village in fair in this little poem was their belief that even if the time is tough the dragon will wake up and it will free the village by making a lake means the dependency of the valley on rain water will end as the dragon will make a lake okay so this poem was deeply set in everybody's mind as the way they went by slowly and quietly without any rain the wheels started to bring up muddy brown water because they did not have enough water and the lawn turned brown how does a lawn turn brown the grass dries up you know so to, from green to brown it turns and the flowers drew their beautiful heads and the valley became browner and drier and thirstier every hot day but children believed in the dragon so they kept on talking to each other the dragon will help us soon he must do something agreed another they kept on discussing amongst each other that the dragon will soon wake up and do something to end their trouble okay and they believed in the dragon they believed in the small poem that they had heard in times of trouble the dragon will wake and free the village by making a lake but was their belief going to be true that we will find out in the next video till then take care